Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Taylor Brands. More about them in a moment. I've been playing with iPad OS 17 for a couple of months now, and it is a fantastic update. I love all the new features and updates to some of my most used apps. If you haven't updated already, you should. Stick around and I'll show you some of my favorite new features. Hi, my name is Rich. I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad, and I've been looking forward to making this video for a while. Nearly every change Apple made in this update makes the way I use the iPad better. It's as simple as that. Apple Notes has received a killer new feature, so has Apple Reminders, and just small little things like a more functional home screen makes using the iPad better than ever. Now, before I share with you everything I'm going to cover today, I want you to know which iPads can run iPad OS 17, and here they are. Any iPad Pro second generation or later, iPad Air third generation or later, basic iPad sixth generation or later, and the iPad mini fifth generation or later. If you have one of those iPads, which should cover most users, you're good to go. While there are literally hundreds of enhancements, in today's video, I'm gonna cover five really cool features that'll have you updating your iPad once this video is over. I'm gonna show you the new lock screens and how functional they are. The new reminder list sections, linking Apple Notes to other Apple Notes. Man, it's so powerful. And if you have an iPad Pro stage manager, it's way better than before. And then interactive home screen widgets that just make doing things easier. All right, let's get started. You know, you wouldn't think the lock screen would be something that would be all that important, but the lock screen has become very functional. And with iPad OS 17, it's gotten even more powerful. Much like the iPhone, you can now have multiple lock screens. And let me show you. If you just slide down from the top, now you're onto your lock screen. And if you press and hold, you can go over and create a new lock screen, just like that. And they already have a whole bunch of different choices that you can put in here. One of the ones I like is the earth, and you can move that around like that. It's really cool. And you can put widgets that you want, anything that you want over here. And then you can just click add, and then set as wallpaper, and then tap on it. And now you've got a new wallpaper just like that. And it is just a beautiful little thing. I love it. It's so functional. I put these widgets like a clock and the time and temperature and my calendar and what the market is doing down here. And it's just a really neat little thing. And you can switch between lock screens and wallpaper too. Again, if you just slide down and then press like that, you can go back and forth. I've created quite a few here. Like this one, I like that one. And you can just press and hold and go back. And that's the one for today's video, and I like that one too. Before I continue, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, Taylor Brands. When they reached out to me, I was excited for one main reason. They are a one-stop shop to help you not only form, but build your business. What many of you may not know is that I practiced law for nearly 30 years, and I learned there are so many things it takes to get a business off the ground. From forming a legal entity like an LLC, to marketing, to building a strong online presence, to logos and merchandise and more, Taylor Brands takes the overwhelming and boils it down into doable steps. Think of it this way. First, start by setting up your LLC. Follow that up with attorney written documents and service agreements that serve your business. Create a memorable logo and get a domain and set up your new website. Trademark your business name and logo to avoid copycats because that does happen. And there's so much more like finance manager services, business documents, all the necessary licenses and permits, and even business bank accounts. And remember, if you have questions, you can always reach out to Taylor Brands Experts for live consultation. Look, I never dreamed this YouTube channel that I started to help my mom learn how to use her iPad 
would grow from a small channel to a legit side hustle to a real business. My guess is there are many of you watching this video that need to take the next step to grow your new business. All I can say is that getting off the ground can be a challenge, but if you're looking for guidance, then Taylor Brands is here to help. Please check out the link in the description below to learn more. Okay, back to the video. One of the really cool new features added to Reminders is a new way to look at lists. So if you go into Reminders, you'll see that I have a home maintenance list, a family list, auto maintenance, and travel. And I've got a task there, finish the coffee table and my grandson's second birthday and rotate tires and so forth in these various lists. But now if you'll notice, I've created something called New List. You can call it whatever you want. And now you can put sections in here. So there's home maintenance, family, auto maintenance, travel. And it's all in one list. And you can tap and you can pin that list so that it's up at the very top. And that is just so handy. But what's even better, these are sections, by the way. You can add as any number of sections that you want. But you can also go up and view those as columns. And now you've got home maintenance, family, auto maintenance, and travel. And it's in columns, and you can just fill out your columns that way if you'd prefer to look at it like that. And you can see the whole thing like that. And you can go back and view it as a list, too. And that's just one of the new powerful little features. I'm going to make a whole video on this, so this is something you're going to find very useful. Next up is linking in Apple Notes, and this is just something that I've wanted forever. It's the ability to link one note to another note. I have a lot of notes, and I keep track of them sort of on a year-by-year -year basis, and this gives me the ability to create kind of an index note for a given year that links to all of the other notes. And let me show you what I mean. So here is an index note that I've created. And if you'll notice, I've put some categories up here. This is called mono style. And you can put some headings up in your note now. And if I click on, that's a note. And if I click on it, it'll take me to a webinar that I did. If I go back to my index and I type on learn how to swipe, it takes me to one of the videos that I did on how to swipe on the iPad. If I go back to the index, it's very easy how you do it. You just tap on the word, you highlight it, and then you tap on add link. And you just search by the name of your link or your note. I'll put 2023 family activities, click done. And now I've made a link to a note for family activities. And if I tap on that, I see we had a spring beach trip, I visited mom and dad, and so forth. But this is a neat way to create an index of all of your notes, or to create relationships between notes that make sense to you. Just an awesome feature. If you have an iPad Pro, you have access to Stage Manager. Stage Manager was a way that Apple chose to handle Windows on an iPad a couple of years ago. It just never really took with me. I didn't make any videos on it because it just, it just didn't work, and I just didn't want to make a video on something that was kind of glitchy. But they've fixed it in iPad OS 17. At least to me, they have. To turn on Stage Manager, just go into control panel and tap on this little icon right here and now you've got stage manager on and if you open up an application like this you can see that I've got two open I've got my my reminders list and I have another reminders list open there and over here you can see all the things that I have up that can come onto the stage. So I've got photos, and again, you can just grab this little white uh, corner bar right there and resize it. I've got, and you can just switch between your apps. I've got various things here that you can just switch be between, and you can make them different sizes like this, and you can bring in 
another app like this, like Notes, and just bring it down and resize these. And you can get up to three on the page at one time. Kind of like that. And you can move them around any way that you want to move them. And it just makes using Stage, Manor, Stage Manager so much easier. You can just tap and go between them too. So you can have different applications over open over here on the left and just tap on them to get to them without even having to use your dock. Very, very handy. This is something I'm going to make a video on sometime down the road after I really get the hang of using it and to figure out the power of it. But I think this has so much promise. All right, the last thing I want to cover is just interactive widgets on your home screen. Now, some of the applications, this works really well uh, with and makes sense. Some other applications, it doesn't. Every YouTube video I've seen always shows reminders up on the screen. And by interactive, I mean in the past, you'd have to tap on that, open up, open up your reminders, and then do your stuff in there from there. But now, if you want to just check off an item that you've done, say video three, you just tap it like that and now it's gone and you've interacted with the Reminders app right on your home screen without having to open up Reminders. And that's a very handy thing, except I'm kind of clumsy and every time I'd have Reminders up, I'd pick up my iPad and I'd check off two or three tasks that I had on there that I didn't do and so I sort of didn't like it very much but for reminders but there are other things and I use the home app and I have lights on all around me as I make this video uh, and using the home app you can turn on and off lights and so for example that lights now off I tap that and it's back on studio key light now we go really dark <laughs> And now it's back on and you can see me a little bit better. But it's just these little interactive widgets that you can put on the home screen to just help you do things a little bit faster. It's not a huge update, but it's just one of those little things that Apple thought about that makes using your iPad so much better. Much like iPhone OS 17, I have a bunch of new videos coming out detailing all the new features in iPad OS 17. So. Keep an eye out for those. Look, the iPad is getting better and better each year, and this year is the best ever. If you haven't updated to iPad OS 17, then take a few minutes and do so. This is one update you won't regret installing. Okay, that's it for today. Be sure to check out the link to Taylor Brands in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.